What is organon chip? The chip is a device in which there are microfluidic channels through which fluid can flow that actually mimics blood. And the organ is a small piece of tissue. So where do we get that tissue from? We make it from stem cells. So in this way, we create an organ on a chip. How did HDMT come about? In 2013, Albert van der Berg and I were in the board of the Netherlands Academy of Science and we sat next to each other and I asked Albert what he did and he said he made chips, microfluidic channel chips. And I said, I think your chips are fantastic, but you just use the wrong cells. And then he said to me, you use beautiful cells, stem cells, but you just grow them in the wrong circumstances. So we decided we should put these two things together, put my stem cells in his chips. And that's how our HDMT started as an idea. It took us two years to get everybody on board. And in 2015, we established HDMT. So what was our ambition for HDMT? In 2015, we wanted to set an, up a network throughout the Netherlands to link all the universities interested in this technology to make real human mimics of tissue. Uh, the HDMT Foundation is the coordinator of the consortium and uh, is also the central point of contact for uh, external parties. And uh, most of the work is lobbying about organ on chip, both in the Netherlands and also in Europe, but also uh, trying to find money for the research, also dissemination of the newest results, and also bringing together all the different scientists of HTMT. So we have seven different theme groups, for instance, the heart on chip, the vessels on chip, brain on chip group. And in these groups, we discuss the newest results. Uh, we also discuss technical problems, but also discuss new ideas for new proposals. And everybody is welcome, from the professors to the PhD students. And I can say that uh, during the past five years, we really have built a community uh, that collaborates and that experiences the great added value of this collaboration for research. So within HDMT, we are now setting up an organ on chip infrastructure with the focus to bring organs on chips from the lab to real world applications. To do this, we built a distributed network around the Netherlands where there are facilities next to the research institutes that have dedicated expertise about certain parts of technology and biology that are all required to build organ on chip applications. Apart from that focus on the transfer of technology, we also want to train and educate people how to use organs on chips and specific building blocks of organs on chips. And a very important other aspect is qualification of these organ on chip systems. So within these facilities, we have the right expertise, the right people to set up methodology to qualify organ on chip to apply it in real world applications. When as members of HDMT, we looked over the borders into Europe, we found that there were three international conferences annually on organs on chip, and we found this too many. So we said, why don't we all link up and form the European Organs on Chip Society? And this was exactly in line with our European project ORCID. So that's how it all came together. And we now have a European Organ on Chip Society linked to the Journal of the International Society of Stem Cell Research, looking into how we can use human stem cells in organ on chip models. The future is Europe. Just as we do in the Netherlands, on a European level, it is essential to bring together all the stakeholders. From researchers, developers, industry, regulators, everybody should come together to help and have organ on chip reach its full potential.